now. Seven o'clock. I think it might have said rubbish or kitchen waste. Let's try rubbish. Feed the robot with rubbish. Let's start. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! It works! Yay! And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Hey! Go get that rat. Oh, not there, robot. And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Nice one. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, hi, Wilbur. There's an evil slime living in the kitchen. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> The rat has made his play. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? <laughs> the rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you later, lad. The map shows the area between here and the human town of Seastone. The map shows the area between here and the human town of Seastone. Right, so I think I might be done here for the time being. Let's go outside. And another day ends. And as usual, I didn't save any princesses or fight any dragons or hunt any orcs. I chased a rat off, and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. It's going to take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Hall of Heroes, but I'm going to make it one day. <laughs> Watch out! That was close. Hey you, boy, you've got to get me out of here. Quickly, please. I was abducted, an elf freed me. They want... You've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy, it's too late. You see this ring? It's the key! Take it to the human arts mage in the town of Seastone, you understand? But... All of our fates depend on it! Mm -hmm. Oh, dear, dear, nobody's gonna believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the Master Brewer for help. Or Grandad. He fought for the Alliance. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder where Granddad is. Let's look at the entrance to the gnome hole. That's the entrance to my family's gnome hall. We've been living here for generations. Let's go inside, shall we? And down we go. Hold! Who's there? Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's the password? Don't you remember me? Are you Cena or something? I mean, what kind of a password? Password? I don't know anything about a password. Bad answer. Prepare to die, scoundrel. It's important, Grandad. So is the password. We are at war, damn it. War suffereth no carelessness. So, the password. Fluffy bunny. Was it Fluffy Bunny? You wish? Die, maggot! It's important, Grandad. So is the password. We are at war, damn it. War suffereth no carelessness. So, the password! Maybe it's nuclear first strike. Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm, correct. What do you want? A gremlin gave me this ring. He said it's very important. He said the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Con... con um... what? For curses, hexes, poison! I, uh... What am I talking about? Of course, dangerous little blight as those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know. The, uh, the, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He's been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm, yes, yes. He'd know what to do. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained for! Uh... This is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult! The hour of glory! The hour of fame! Hour! Hour! But... but what do you mean, stout? Does everyone know what they have to do? No! Right, men! Let it be so! Mm -hmm. Let's have a look around then, shall we? Oh, examine the vice. Dad's vice brings back a lot of memories. Painful, mostly. Dad's vice brings mm, back a lot of memories. Painful, that, mostly. The silver rope. A thin, silvery elven rope. It's very light and almost unbreakable. Oh, I should take that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've it up quite a few items there. Box. Let's go over there. That's Dad's spare toolbox. Well, he took his everyday tools, his travel tools, and his finest tools with him. I'll take that. Let's see. What are we here? Wrench, pliers, auger grease, a minotaur foot, a curse meter. 
I'll just take the entire box. Why not indeed? Why not? Oh, we got an extendable arm as well. I think we look at that. Ah, an old extension arm. Very handy if you're too small to reach an object. Kind of a widespread problem amongst us gnomes. Yes, because you're too small. I'll take that. Right, so that's very interesting indeed. Oh, submarine. That's one of Grandad's great inventions. A ship which travels underwater. It can already sink. The locker won't open. It was badly damaged two years ago in the devastating spring cleaning explosion. Oh, scrap. Parts of some machine or something. If it's useless, it's Dad's. If it's broken, it's Grandad's. And if it's dangerous, it's from my sister Maggie. Mm hmm. Let's go back up. A flower pot. A flower pot full of potting soil. Hmm, doesn't look like Mother planted anything in there. Those are my mum's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. Mm -hmm. The plants have grown. I could have sworn they weren't here yesterday. Mum probably uses a really good fertilizer. Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo, how did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. It still works. A solid example of norm technology, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, it works. Oh, I can't reach that. I tried. Look at the large metal gate. What's this? That door is part of Dad's living space optimization unit. Behind it is sort of a car park for rooms. What this lever do? What's this lever do? Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. Kitchen. Our kitchen. Nice. Look at the grain mill. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong, comparatively. Hmm, there's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Oh, I should take that. we got here? Blue bottle. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. 
the dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast spells like Merlin, or any other household cleaner for that matter. Bang and the dirt is gone. Look at the blue bottle. Sad it. Come in handy. What's in the cupboard? A vial. Hmm, a pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. I'll take it. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. Mm. Nice look. Mum hid the knives as a precaution. After Grandad's knife throwing training classes last year, she doesn't trust us anymore. I should take scissors. My very cool room. You didn't tidy it up though, did you? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, tennis racket. My old tennis racket, although I was never very good. Oh, I can take it. The cat cut is missing. What did I use that for? Oh, my rucksack. My old Gnome Scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that, but somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. Oh, I'll take it, take it. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. Is that my sister? That's the lever for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. She builds combat robots, and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. Mm. What about the bedroom? That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. I can't use it until they get back. Oh, why not? A chair. Yeah. This chair is completely uninteresting. Like I said, a chair to sit on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we uh, leave. <laughs> leave that one. Um, look at the lamps. Another one of Dad's inventions. He calls it eclecticity or something. It's got something to do with hamsters. We used to have jelly glowfish all over the walls. I found that a little cosier. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything else we can actually do here. Now we'll actually leave the gnome hole for now. 